Hello guys. Uh, few days. Welcome. However, as the sun and moon near uh, alignment and the first is, spring tide of the month uh, approaches, high tide the draws hill nearer level? to these intrepid so. ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. If the colony survives, it will inherit the beach. But this won't be an easy fight. We're going to destroy this one. Gotta collect all this food and we'll be good. Although the nests nearer the water have better access to the food washed up by the sea, this roofer colony need not starve. The plant life growing nearby is home to herds of grey aphids. As they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. They need only protect the aphids from danger to receive a constant supply of sugary liquid. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. They can strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. Okay.
Where's the grave? It's okay. Let's see. So this is the roof. Huh? I can tell it's because they're brown right there, and the black ant is the black stripe. A party of Formica Fusca black ants are heading inland. The high ground roofer colony must defend their territory. The ants will fight to the death. The roofer colony on the low ground are sending troops to clear a path for their queen. The high ground colony must keep them at bay. They're gone? Why are they hiding? Just fill the food stores. The lower ground colonies have relented their siege for now. Night approaches, and with it, it brings a host of nocturnal predators out onto the beach. The high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night, but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open, or hide away and risk losing their only reliable source of food. The ants must defend themselves. Thank you.
I have an idea. So we're gonna get more of these after we fill out these whole chambers. We're gonna get more down here and here. Then we'll have two different uh, ant groups. One going here, the other going over here. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. I think we have plenty. Okay. That water's definitely getting closer. Stop being glitchy. Okay, just need the game to catch up to itself or something. Dawn breaks, and the battle for the high ground will soon continue. The high ground colony defended their aphid flocks well, succeeding in securing vital food supplies to see them through the oncoming onslaught. That 
That's better. The Fusca colony is sending a wave of warriors to clear a path for their queen. That's not very many. That's what. Six. Really? It's an only god, like, actually. But that's not even close to a lot. The Rufa colony is sending another assault. They are desperate to reach higher ground. Oh sweet, they're desperate. Hey guys, we don't need any trouble. I mean, you, I'd be fine if you leave like a nest here. Like right over here, or here. And then you leave a nest like over here. We'd be fine with that. It's just seriously, why do you have to rest in this exact spot? Just saying. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. More black ants? Really? This is a little bit more scary. More soldiers are emerging from the okay. roof of nest.
night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? We're doing so good already. The battle has begun. I feel there's enough wood ants over here that we can just go like this. And I mean, there's 38 of these guys and 26 of these guys, so there could be a little more of that. So we need like 12 of these guys. I must say, we definitely have defended our aphid flocks well.
Okay. Here we go. Uh, so, guys, uh, like this video if you think we should, uh, do merch. Cause, alright. Okay, it's getting glitchy. Check the inside of the nest. Dawn breaks, and the battle for the high ground will soon continue. The high ground colony defended their aphid flocks well, succeeding in securing vital food supplies to see them through the oncoming onslaught. It's always glitchy right as these guys come. Okay, don't be glitchy. Okay. Okay. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. There we go, it's beginning to catch up. More soldiers are emerging from the roof and nest.
Both lower ground colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. I cannot do it with this lag. Black ants and wood ants are heading from their nests to the high ground. So every time they both attack... Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once yes. again the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? We just cannot get away. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Okay. Thank you. 
A hermit crab, yes. The hermit crabs have the most food. They are tasty. Oh, come on! Why does this have to be glitchy? Like always. Every time they start to come out. I have to, I have to protect it because they'll probably come over. Last night's high tide was dangerously close to the low ground nests. Today is their oh, last sweet. chance to relocate. The low ground colonies won't go <coughs> under a Their attacks will be desperately her. vicious. Fortunately for the high ground colony, many aphids survived the night. Access to food will be pivotal for the upcoming battle. Wait, what? Oh, sweet. You're not here for the best. They're going to attack very soon. A large black ant force has been sent from the Fusca nest. How large? Too large? Not large enough. I'm just assuming they're going to just keep coming, so, like, just why not? Oh, I do. Attack! Go on the offensive. Go kill many black ears. More wood ants are heading toward the high ground colony. I know it's not like there's been a sustained flow of them. I mean, killing a lot of them. That's all I can say, really.
Both lower ground colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. Oh, come on. You have to be cheap, don't you? They're going to send up more troops, aren't they? Okay, this just doesn't make sense. Move back a little bit. Move right here. That way, both of you guys don't have to be right up in their faces. Then when they come out, you can just Yep. The day is almost over. The low ground is already starting to flood. The lower ground nests are emptying completely, and the ants are rushing up the bank. This is their final assault. My goal is to not let any of them into this. Of course that goal is not to happen, is it? Maybe? 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 Snap. Her dad, I'm just saying. And no help. The ants me. must protect the queen. about to win. Let's go! We win! That was actually kind of too easy. The wood ants upon the hill have finally defeated their would-be successors. Tomorrow their empire will expand to the undefended intertidal flats below, commanding both the aphid farms and the bounty of the sea. This colony will rise to become an undeniable power in the undergrowth. Oh, you heard him. It will become a very powerful colony, that's for sure. Well, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.